This here is the downtown area where I come all the time. That's the lobby house. Some old watering hole for the horses for the last hundred years or so. Pretty interesting, I guess. Up here is a old madras. I guess you can sort of see behind the trees. There's a little kid. Assalamu alaikum, Mrs. It's Mingus Nima. Eh. Right here is the email. Right there is the door to where I do email. There's some normal looking people. That's about it for now, I guess. Oh. So, right here we have the first trading dome, which I guess at least the site dates to about a thousand years ago, fifteen hundred years ago. People come in out of this dome here and uh, do their trades and stuff. That's about it. Okay, this is uh, sort of what these old buildings, good idea of what the houses look like. This is going into what is known as, I'm a bad filmer, sorry, second trading dome. Okay. What is that? Is that a gecko? It appears to be a gecko. Oh, it's moving. Anyhow, this is a little rug room with the rug lady. Hello. Hello. And her nephew, Rug Boy. <laughs> These are some rugs. Uh, I have no idea what rugs you like. So, just look at these rugs and uh, tell me what you like. I don't know what colors you like. So you'll have to tell me. You'll have to tell me. Okay. Oh, I wasn't even recording. Different countries. And I will make sure to bring home some of these beautiful tea mixes and curry for you in December. Isn't that right, Oybek? Oybek? <laughs> Is that right? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so, from here, I'm just a little bit past the second trading dome. And you go up and you look across the skyline and then you realize there it is. The Cologne Minaret. The great big minaret. Yep. All of these things were leveled except for this thing here. Which Genghis Khan, hello, decided not to destroy. I find that quite interesting. Just down that way, underneath that white thing, is the spice guy. Then there's the second trading dome. Okay. There are little shops like this all over the place selling their wares. Reach back and you see the beautiful marigolds. Makes you happy. Underneath the third trading dome, which dates from the 11th century, I believe. And over there, you have some more of the religious things called madrasas. These are where the uh, people who became like the Muslim priests went to study. They're very old, very old. So these were used as grain storage silos during the time of uh, Stalin, I guess. And over here, as you see beyond the fence, is the only madrasa, which is the religious school allowed to function during Stalin's time. Don't know why. Anyways, more later. Is Mingus Nima? It's from you. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> I am no. Oh. Okay. Is Mingus Nima? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is your name? My name is Sabina. Sabina, my name is from Jake. Tani is kind of her son, man. Let's see your stuff. Huh? Let's see your stuff. Let's see. Tell me the name. On? 
ten. She is ten. Yes. Sis? Nama. This is Nama. Shaknoza. This is Shaknoza. I think that's a great name. How old are you? Looking. How old are you? Looking. How old are you? Shaknoza. Oh. Nature Yosta. Fifteen on Besh? Yeah. This is Chi? Nature Yosta. Fourteen. Oh. Fourteen. Eleven. Eleven? And fifteen. As we go around the corner, we see a very nice, newly restored mosque. And then, strikingly, as you walk around, you see the minaret. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. It's pretty damn tall, isn't it? It's been standing for a long time. Genghis Khan himself looked at this monstrosity and decided it was in fact too amazing, too amazing to destroy. You'll just see how large it is once I get up to it. In fact, it seems like it's taking... You'll see just how... Is there a place to take a bomb? It's quite a sight. Oh, Genghis Khan looked up, and up, and up, and he realized, in fact, this thing was huge. He realized that he could not destroy such an amazing work. If you look down, you realize that this foundation underneath the ground, that's pretty damn amazing. And someday I will be able to get up to the little lookout where they used to throw people off. Ah, to the ground. And I will take pictures. Yeah. Ah, this is the beautiful Madresa. Beautiful. Here I am with the nice. Assalam. How are you, Yakshimisis? They sell beautiful hats, which I will try to buy. Oh, look at that thing. That's beautiful. That's what a new bride. Ah. Ah, look at that puppy. Let's see how much lower I can get it. Mm. So, they sell things at these stores like hats and sort of those Russian hats and stuff like that. Kodak film always, no? Yo, can I? Look at that cute old lady. How cute. Uh. could be one trillion years old. She seen some stuff in her life. See that white, is that a white covering? That's to, because someone has died and she must wear that for 40 years on her head. 40 years, give me 40 days. Look at these, you see these? These are made from aborted uh, sheep fetuses and calf fetuses, sheep. And they're so soft, I think I'll buy a sheep fetus hat for you guys. Okay. 
the detail on that. It's very beautiful. Okay. Cut. Catering is the most. Sis, I think it is you. Is she going to call us? Catering, catering. Ah. Okay, done. Cut. Sis, catering is the most. Sis, catering is the most. Ha, bill my man. Hard kuni. Bugun. Bugun, the most. Yo. Hi, Er. Hi. This is the top. Ooh, the fancy blue. Sweltering in the heat, sweltering, sweltering, sweltering. It's so hot here. The people seem like they're sweating. It's about one trillion degrees. Oh my god, how hot can it get? Oh, it just got hotter. How could that be possible? Oh, I feel old timey. Now I feel like I'm in the 50s. Now I'm normal. Uh, what's he selling there? What's he selling? This is a normal scene. They ride around on their bikes. Is he selling bread? Is he selling a sock? Yep. That's bread. It's big old bread. That's Bukhara style bread. Yes. See, the women are smart here. They uh, won't have to dress in these absurd dresses, but they get to wear these nice big umbrellas to block the sun. The men are too macho for that. They just won't settle for that, so they just won't do it. Oh, here's our complete section of drinks. You have your Coca-Cola, Fanta, Sprite, and Coca-Cola's Bon Aqua. Or Sprite, or Fanta, or Coca-Cola, or Fanta, or Sprite, or Bon Aqua, or you get the picture. This is it, unless you like vodka. Ugh. Please send sugar-free Kool-Aid mixes soon. Oh, oh, non, Isik non? Isik? Oh. Chiroili. So it looks just like a normal, boring... Street, you're walking and then you go around the corner and there you see it. This is what was the center of this town and this part of the world for about 2,500 years. It's been rebuilt in 1997 mostly for the 2,500 year anniversary of the town but all in all, it's quite impressive, and they did follow the original plans quite well because there were photographs. Of course, the Ark in its form here is rebuilt was not always in this form. I mean, like many of the great structures of the world that big egotistical rulers lived in, they tried to upgrade it from their predecessors. So, here, probably on the ground under here, probably hundreds of bodies they were beheaded by various emirs who had nothing else to do with their time except for have sex with their harem. Oh. So bad. Ah. Here you see uh, remnants of the ancient wall of the fortress. This is how it looks. Just a bunch of crappy, muddy adobe. Sort of how they do all of their repairing. But here starts the uh, repairing of the whole ark. And around that way is the front entrance where I will go now. Now I'm going inside of... Inside of one of the schools because some of our Peace Corps people are doing a camp here. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. She's from Brown University. She's, she's heading up the camp. And that's that's Miss Jamie who's
Could everyone just say hi to me, to America, please, and then I'll leave. Okay, thank you. I'll leave now before I get killed. That is the local Hakimiat. It's a tall, monstrous looking draconian building. And it just happens to be sort of near my workplace, which is this building right here. Asalam Yakshimases. Zormases, Tazukmases. Ismingas Nima. Ah, cheer, really? My name is Umjek. Uh -huh. Ah, zor. So, this is my work. This is where I work every day. Yes. Every day I'm going to walk into these doors go to work. Hello. Asalam. So in here is my work. Uh, Asalam. Yakshimasis. Hello. How are you? Hello. This is the secretary assistant woman for the rector. This is the vice rector. He speaks Spanish. Hola. 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 Very, very nice people. My friends. My friends. Okay. Say goodbye. <laughs> the splendor of Lobby House. The beauty. I, I happen to call it the beauty dish myself. So. <laughs> the beauty dish. Yes, this is what it is. This is Ted, the uh, volunteer most likely to go back to America only by expedition. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Everybody knows I work in other places. You are better away than us. Okay, this is my road, and that right there is my door to my house. I'll be there in a minute. Let me just... This is my house. My host mother, Marhama. Hello. Umar Yok. Men Yoda Umar Yok. Oh, that's Nodira. I call her snotty. She's a little bugger. Bye bye. Say hello. Okay. Snotty. <laughs> oh, what a nice little brat. Yo. 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 She's like that all the time. One second. Jim. 
This is where people usually lay around the evenings and my little host sister wants to be seen. There she is. She's a little monkey. My moon. She's my moon, sis. She's Sasuk. This is sort of her sewing room. Through there, through these windows, is my bedroom. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, they're trying to show you how nice they are with their food. My, my textbooks to help teach. I sit in this chair a lot and relax. Look, I've left it a mess again. That is the host father, Anvar, who you'll meet later, his father. That's my really kooky and bizarre little host sister's tiger. And there is my temple of worship, the television with satellite dish and in here is my room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my messy room. Men dirty, floss, men. I'm very dirty. My olamas is this. This is Ukland. This is my savior right there. The fan. Ah, worship its goodness. Hello. 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 She's not so big, is she? She's, Hello. she's pretty small. Hello. Look how big my nose is. Big nose, cut the balloon. Season is seven man. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Doink. Hi, how are you? Okay. Say hello to America, Umar. Hello. How are you? How are you, America? Umar. them some questions. What are you doing is that? What are you doing where? As a what? Where? In America? Yes. What do they do? Yes. I don't know. What do you do in America? At work? Ask more questions. Tell them about yourself. What do you like to do? Um, my hobby is a table tennis and a computer. Oh, do you have a computer? No, but I... You want a computer? Yes. yes. I want a computer also. Oh, well, too bad. Everybody uh, wants a want computer. computer. Do you like soccer or what you call football? Uh, I, want, I like a soccer. Are you good at soccer? Yes. Very good? Yes. Uh, I'm good at basketball. Umar is, <laughs> Umar is good with uh, soccer, but we call it football. He speaks languages very well. He's very good at table tennis. He's almost as good as me. I'm better. Am I better? Yes. In table tennis? Yes. No, he says I am worse. <laughs> he beats me many times. I really don't like that at all. He will pay for that. You will pay for that. Why? Uh-oh. Naughty, the little sisters. 
Nadir is out He's there. He's crying. She is crying because she's not in the film right now. But she will just make But she choice. won't. She is not at the door. Yes? What kind of girl? Welcome back to Uzbekistan today. My guest, as before the break, is Umar. Welcome back, Umar, and how are you? Okay. Okay. So, Umar, what would you like to do in America if you had the chance to go to America? Please, tell me. Um, I passed a task. A test? Uh, in a university. Oh. What would you do in America? Where would you go? What towns? What cities? Um, what cities? What food would you eat? What would you do in America? I work as a... Doing what? So tell me, Umar, what? when do you want to go to America? Someday? Do you know that it's very hard to go to America because America is expensive? Uh, Kimat? I know. Oh. Um, would you like to go there to meet friends? Yes. To practice speaking English? Yes. Why? And, uh, What would you do in America if you could go, other than study? What Do you want to go to a city? Do you want to go to Disneyland? Do you want to go to the ocean? What do you want to do? Uh, I want to go to uh, on a holiday. That's a vacation to you and me. Um, would you miss your family if you went to America? Would yes. you be sad? Yes. But would you still go? Would you still want to go to America? Yes. Yes, you still would like to go. Oh, by the way, my hairline is looking pretty good. Yes, you would still like to go to... She, is a, she has a boy, uh, girlfriend. Who has a girlfriend? You. What do you mean? I have no girlfriend. He has a What's her name? She's name is Eula. <sighs> How did you know? How did you know? You tell me, you told me. Shut, shut up, cut. You know what that is? It's my stomach. <laughs> Show them your muscles. Show them your muscles. What? Your pecs. Show them your pecs. <laughs> Show them your pecs. Oh, look at those pecs. Those are some mighty nice pecs you have there.
This is my beautiful little sister. Hello, how are you? This is Nigora. All of the beautiful men in America will see this. Hello. They've already seen them. Come over here. Come over with them. Nadi, Nadi, Okay. 
Yoman Snadi, <laughs> Nargiza, Umar, uh, what's your name? Igora. Igora, Anvaraka, handsome, intelligent, Akli Anvaraka. Why, there's no deer again. How did that happen? Party 99. It's on. All right, it's dance party 99 with my family in Uzbekistan. Have a fun time in America. Say goodbye. Bye. 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 Everybody, please. Yay. Bye, America. Bye. Say goodbye. Baza, Jeb, Baza, America, Uzbekistan. Goodbye. Bye, bye. I love you, Dennis. I love you, Dennis. I love you, Lonnie. Kitchkine. <laughs>